Yo, what's going on, YouTube family? This your boy, Blood Raw. I see different back at y'all with another quick video. Remember to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Click. Don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you will be alerted every time I continue to drop that. Ugh. Throw ice on my YouTube channel, baby. Let's go. Let me. Ugh. Ugh. Double chop that throw ice, bro, because I'm going to give it to y'all Blood Raw style. This video here is going to be the prep video, part one. I'm most likely going to do two parts to it because there's so much material I'm going to try to cover. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight to it. First off, man, I just want to be thankful for all y'all to the new subscribers, for everybody that clicked on this video to take time out your busy schedule to watch and get notifications, you know what I'm saying, and willing to implement this material as far as information into your everyday way of living. Blood raw style, much love. But anyway, let's jump straight to it. As far as preparing for what's to come, because the inevitable is going on. It's going to take place. We can't stop it. Like I said before, the powers that be, they are the ones dictating and controlling us puppets out here in this matrix. Everyone that's living out here in this matrix, if you're working a job, hitting the clock, whatever, you got to survive, but you're part of the matrix. Okay, let me go ahead and touch topic. So if you want to start prepping up and getting supplies ready to prepare for you and your loved ones for the future, that's ahead of America, which America is falling and has failed. Y'all see that the stock market is damn near crashed. The crypto, the Bitcoin, all that has tanked right now. So you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure a lot of people have lost their lifetime savings as far as investments. 401ks is being depleted. All type of stuff is being thrown at us over here in America. I'm talking about we have fallen. So if you want to start preparing First off, what you want to do is try to eliminate and consolidate all unnecessary debt. You want to try to get your way out of being buried in debt. That's for starters if you want to become financially stable and sustainable as far as living on your own terms efficiently. You want to try to get out of the debt, bro. You got to refrain from all debt as possible. Pay what you can. And get out of it. If you got extra money to get out of credit card debt, get out of loan payments, anything you can to free yourself away from the system as far as, as far as prepping and getting ahead, as far as for you and your peace of mind and your family. Okay, number two, you want to make sure that you have some type of water stashed away or some type of potable water supply. You want to be able to have access to clean drinking water. Without water for three days, your kidney starts shutting down, your entire digestive system, as far as organs and all that, starts shutting down, starting with the kidneys, because you're lacking water, which is a key element of life. You see how they charge you for water? Think about that shit. One of the key necessity elements of life is water, and these motherfuckers have bottled it up and capitalized it off of you, off of the people, knowing that's a key supplement element that brings forth and gives life water like i say without water three days your ass dead so number two on your list you want to make sure that you're stocking up on water have a water supply in case you can't get more water and also i'm gonna tell y'all you need to get you some of the live straws these straws here helps you to filtrate up to a hundred thousand gallons of water they down to 17 to 25 dollars in walmart but these straws here you can stick these straws here in anything dirty water, your toilet, anything, a pond, anything, and it stops you from catching E. coli, listeria, salmonella, all this stuff. I'm talking about it filters the water. These are little straws. I have some. You know what I'm saying? That is a good investment that you need to invest some money in as far as those live straws. You can get you two, three at the most. You know what I'm saying? Just say 50 to $75 worth of those straws. And each straw will filter up to 100,000 gallons of water. You see how much longer you're able to go ahead as far as needing water? Because just say like if all the grocery stores run out of water, they start rationing water. Or the water can't even get to the local towns and cities due to the high diesel. Due to everything's up, the inflation. How you going to drink? Just think about it. You got certain states that fine you for capturing rainwater. You're not allowed to catch the rainwater that falls from the sky. Which this shit is crazy. But like I said, number two, if you want to start stocking up, number one was you must get out of debt, unnecessary debt. Number two is make sure you have a water source, a water supply. Stock up on water. 
keep it stored in a nice, cool place. The water lasts forever. Even if you had it over a long period of time, you could still boil it. You know what I'm saying? But you want to make sure you get and have a clean supply of water source some type of way. And make sure you also go invest into those water straws. They call live straws. Research and educate yourself on those live straws. Okay? That's number two. Number three, you want to have you a way to eat. You know what I'm saying? Some type of non-perishable items, the canned goods. You got the canned goods now at Walmart that's between 50 to 78 cents. You know what I'm saying? They are actually steady going up due to the inflation. So what you want to do, you at least want to try to get you a flat of canned goods every week. One flat run you six to seven dollars. That's 12 canned goods. You want to be getting the the, the, the pipes of noodles, the non-perishable items, the cans of tuna, the cans of chicken, anything can. You want to get it, the bags of rice. They got 20-pound bags of rice running out from 10 to 16 bucks. I've seen some of the rice go up 25 to 50% due to this inflation. I've seen it because I prep, I stock up. I'm watching all the prices. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you put back that non-perishable item. Start canning. You know what I'm saying? Get you some of the mason jars. Stock away. Get you some of the tins. You want, I'm talking about it's, it's real cheap for you to stock up right now. You know what I'm saying? The inflation is still here. But certain items, what I'm naming, like the canned goods, the pasta, the noodles, the rice, the oatmeal, the grain, the dried beans. You want to get all this stuff. All this stuff is non-perishable items that will last and have a high shelf life as far as preserving. And you also want to get you some of the food buckets. You know what I'm saying? The food grade buckets. You can store that in. But my take, I have food grade buckets and all that stored away with oxygen absorbers that you can order off Amazon. But if you get you a, one of the plastic container totes that Walmart sells for 7 to 20 bucks, depending on the gallon size, you can get those and store your bags of rice. Like me, I checked my rice the other day. It's a rice I stashed three years ago, and the rice still looks like I just bought it from the store, man. This is no lie. But I'm telling you, man, y'all need to prep up, man. Start now. Start today. Start today. Take $5 out your money. Take 5 to $10 out your money. Go to Walmart and get your flat of canned goods and watch how it makes you feel. Because if you are aware of what's going on, you need to take some type of heed to that knowledge, that little voice that's in your mind telling you, you need to start. You need to start today. Start somewhere. And let me tell you the feeling that you would get, not to start off topic. When you know that you're prepping for your kids and you sitting in your house watching TV and you sit there and just know to yourself, damn, I'm going to start. And you see your kids running across the living room playing, hooping and hollering, enjoying life right now because you're aware of, aware of what's to come. You're going to be smiling, man. You're going to be thinking like, damn, I'm going to start putting away for my little ones, man, because they can't even feed themselves. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 a joy or relief will come over your mental and your heart. Peace will come. Trust me, that you knowing that you have started somewhere. I don't give a damn if you got three canned goods stacked up and one case of water. You have started somewhere. Also, don't forget about the safety supplies as far as first aid kits, medicine. You know what I'm saying? If your kids need certain type of medicine, you want to get antibiotics, penicillin, Tylenol. I'm talking about all this stuff is cheap right now. You know what I'm saying? The inflation is here, but you still can go grab certain things and just stash it away. Okay? That was number three, the non-perishable items. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you'll you figure it out. It's all common sense. You can go in the store and tell about what will last and what, you know what I'm saying, that doesn't last. Like I said, I'm going to reiterate, go go get you the noodles, the Raymond noodles, the, the, the boxes of oatmeal, the bags of rice, the dried beans. Make sure you're mixing up a variety so you can still get your nutrients from each individual vegetable or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Then you ain't got to keep eating the same stuff. They got the cans of tuna in there for 78 cents. I'm talking about that holes a long, a long shelf life. That's how you can get your protein. You can get your protein from beans, nuts. I'm talking about all this stuff has a long shelf life. And the thing about a lot of this stuff, a lot of the stuff has a year, two, three years out expiration date. But like these canned goods, these pastas, noodles, rice, beans. You can store this stuff up to 10, 15, 20 to 30 years. It's all on how you keep it stored away in a nice, dry, cool place away from insects, pests. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this video right now all out of love and, and passion that I have for the people and my subscribers that's following my videos and watching my YouTube channel. I want y'all to make it. I want y'all to live another day. I don't want y'all to bow down to this system, man, because I know what's coming. And I see what's coming. 
You know what I'm saying? So let me jump to number three. You want to make sure you get some means of self-defense. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't have a gun. Those who are felons, felons that made mistakes in their past, not even violent crimes, but the system has been put into place just so you can't obtain a gun. You might have done something when you were 18 years old. You see what I'm saying? And now you change your whole life around and they have taken your right to own a firearm. But at the same time, this is my mental. I don't give a fuck. If you are fed whatever, go get you a motherfucking gun. Put it up for your survival, for you and your kids' safety. And then another thing, if you're going to have a firearm, make sure you got loads of ammo. Like I tell people, it ain't about how many guns you got. It's about the ammo count. You can have all the guns in the world and don't even got enough ammo. You want to make sure you get the ammo, get you some knives, get you some machetes, get you anything that you're equipped with to have knowledge of that as far as the self-defense tool. You can even go get a stick out your yard and put nails all in the end of one end, and that's a weapon. You want to have something to protect you and them children, you and your family, especially the single mothers who you feel like you ain't got nobody to depend on. You don't got no real man in your life who that you know that will be, that will be willing to stand up and give their life for you and your children. You know what I'm saying? That you know, but damn, they took my old man out, but damn, he rolled out for us. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of mentor you got to have nine times. You got to have a protector. But you know what I'm saying? Like I say, back to the women. Y'all women, make sure y'all that y'all got some type of training with your guns. Go out and get off a couple of rounds. Know how to load reload at a fast pace your own firearm know these things lady make sure you have cleaning kits all that there for your guns just make sure that you got some type of way of self-defense you know what i'm saying i'm dropping these gems on y'all man like i said i'm probably gonna make this a two-part video because there's so much information i'm gonna try to cover you know but what that was number three or number four i mean i think that was number four as far as the stuff for safety also Make sure you fix your bug out bag. That means if you got to just get your kids up and go, that's a bag that you will prep and stage where you have stuff to eat in it, stuff to cook, stuff for protection, first aid, medicine, all that stuff there. Just in case you can't stay at your location, you might got to get up, pack the kids up and go. That's what you call a bug out bag where you can just grab that one bag and it got everything that y'all need, you know what I'm saying, in order for y'all to survive a week or two out in the woods hiding, you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you pack extra clothes, socks, you know what I'm saying? Buy you some extra shoes. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you have means to make a fire, matches, candles. You know what I'm saying? All this good stuff, man. Make sure you got ways to keep warm. Go to these thrift shows, excuse me, these thrift stores, Goodwills, and go ahead and get you a couple of them cheap, thick-ass blankets, man. You'll be surprised. Make sure you have a way to cook with. Go get you some of that cast iron shit. Because the thing about cast iron, when you make a fire, the average pots and shit they sell in any stores, that fire burns straight through it. But see, think about if they kill the electricity. There's no power. You're going to have to be able to cook. You can use that cast iron. That cast iron can take direct heat to some of the most extreme temperatures and will not melt, break holes come in it or none of that you got to think far ahead man i'm giving y'all some real information right now so y'all make sure y'all be writing down these tips that i'm giving y'all you know what i'm saying you got to have a way to cook you know what i'm saying you got to so i think this is tip five you want to make sure that you got a way to keep warm depending on your location you want to make sure that you got some kerosene heaters lamps you know what i'm saying batteries clothes and extra blankets and you also want to go get you some sleeping bags they got sleeping bags at walmart for damn near nine to fourteen dollars i'm talking about they the good sleeping bags they the sleeping bags that can stand up the negative 50 degree temps and the thing about these sleeping bags when you get inside of them your body heat activates and warms it up you know what i'm saying you got to go ahead and look at your household how many people in your house get a sleeping bag for each individual person? These sleeping bags is where you can just go out in extreme temperatures in the woods and just get inside of your sleeping bag and able to stay warm. I'm talking about a negative 50 degree temp. I'm talking about negative 50 degree weather. That cold that you still would be able to survive and stay warm in these sleeping bags you had to sleep in the woods. Also, make sure you go get you a tent. You know what I'm saying? Because like if the power go out, you can put up a tent inside your home and y'all can all get in that tent and stay warm. I'm telling you, this shit works, man. I'm talking about you got the six to eight man tent at Walmart now for about 30 to 60 bucks. Invest in some of these things, man. I know everybody ain't got the extra money, man, but get what you can, man. 
just take a lot of these tips I'm giving you, break down each individual tip and take a little bit from each one and get you a little something, get you some water, get you some live straw, get you some canned goods, get you some boxes of pasta, cans of tuna. You know what I'm saying? Go get you some batteries, flashlights, candles, matches, lighters, first aid kits. You're going to need this stuff, man. I'm telling y'all, man, this shit is really taking place right now, especially around the world and definitely right here in motherfucking America, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just want y'all to be prepared, man. All my subscribers, y'all are like family to me now, man. You know what I'm saying? And so the passion in these videos, I just have to give it to y'all, especially about preparing, man. Because like I say, and I'm going to say it again, you would rather have it than not need it than need it and not have it. I'm telling you, just sit back today or after you watch this video and just watch your children run around the house. They ain't got a, a care in the world. Cause you parent, you taking care of them. But just think about when the government comes to knocking at your door, ma'am. We are. Oh, you see the news flash? There is no more food. Blase, blase. We got to do this. This right here, we rationing this. You don't want to sit there and pulling your fucking hair out, knowing, trying to figure out how you're gonna feed and take care of your children. That's why I did gave you that first number one prep rule. Try the best to be self sufficient as possible, where you don't got to depend on the government or the system. Meaning, get yourself out of debt, man. Because the thing about the system, when it all crashes, if you don't own a lot of stuff, they coming to get that shit. Just think about it. Your own home you don't own. They'll put your ass out on the street. But the thing about that, you can still take all your supplies and go live in a tent in the motherfucking woods with your children. You got your car, you able to pack all your shit and just go out and live in the woods because you got this tent. People got to start by getting used to living off the land and being self-sufficient. Like I had my son, my son's mother yesterday spoke with her and she got so upset because her AC sit system went out on her brand new home. It's, a, it's under warranty, but they like it's still going to be like $3,000 labor. And like I told her, y'all got to get away from this, the comfortable way of living now. How things are going, it's just a matter of time till everybody's back out without electricity, living back like how we used to be, only the rich and elite. Those who are wealth going to be able to afford the power. Just think about if your uh the energy bills is going up, the energy is going up, light bills and all. Just say if you're paying three hundred dollars a month for electricity, what you gonna do when that shit jump to seven, eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month? Cause it's coming. Everything going up, everything has to go up. That's just what it is. One thing ain't gonna rise and it all don't rise. When one thing moves, it all moves. When the gas goes up, the diesel goes up, everything shifts. You know what I'm saying? So, like, people was going crazy about some fucking toilet paper. The toilet paper ain't important. And also, make sure you go get baby wipes. Store you a lot of baby wipes. That eliminate that toilet tissue. Store you a lot of cheap, a lot of baby wipes. You know what I'm saying? That is a key thing as far as a prepper goes. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to make this video much long because I'm planning to do a part two with this. But this is just a little ground wetting a little information, which I feel like I gave y'all a lot of information just in this quick little video. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you write down and take notes and get started, man. Get started. Like I said, you ain't got to have a million dollars to prep. You ain't got to. You can take five to $10 a week, which you want to be doing a little bit more than that because time, the, the elite, they moving their agenda fast. They are moving it fast. So if you can go spend $50, go get you a, 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 a flat of canned goods, which run you about six, seven dollars. Go get you a case of noodles. Go get you uh, three cases of water. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better start, man, and start today. Don't wait, man. Don't wait, because you're going to be at peace knowing you been stocking up when the shit really hit the fan. You're going to be at a peace of mind knowing you ain't got to go in the grocery store and buy them high-ass prices because you already got the same stuff that's sitting there at a higher price in your house that you bought bike when the shit was cheap. You got to look at it like that. But like I say, I ain't going to make this video much longer. There will be a part two. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all y'all that took the time out to watch this video. And if you gain edification and you feel the information is valuable to you, hit the like button, man. Share this video to your family members, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we all need to be prepped up. When the more people in your family prepare, the easier it is on all y'all as a whole. That's what you got to look at. I don't give a damn if y'all live in different cities, but if you knowing your family in Florida prepped up and you in Georgia, that's a peace of mind. You ain't got to worry about your cousin, them and their kids dying now. Damn. I hope they ain't starving. That's why you got to spread the information alone to the family, to your family. If they don't take it and get ready, there's no more you can do. Just think about if you got a family member that's 30, 40, 50 miles away. How the fuck you going to get to them to get them some food? 
Just think about it. When all the lawlessness runs around, you ain't going to be able to be out in the streets. You're going to have people killing each other trying to survive, man. And that's why I say, y'all ladies, y'all arm up. Y'all go take some self-defense courses. Just get out there and practice somewhere. Hit up. If you know a guy that who into guns and stuff, just talk to a guy. Be like, hey, you don't mind showing me how to do my gun? Give me a little training on how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? Get out there with some stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do, man. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to make this video much longer. Most likely, I will do a part two. This is part one. So y'all remember, make sure y'all have y'all notepad out. Write down some of these notes and start prepping today. Start getting ready. Start preparing for you and your children. If no nobody else be ready, you will be ready. You feel what I'm saying? Until next time, this your boy Blood Raw. I'm out. Salute.